So when we last left off, we were being worshipped as a goddess. <laughs> Did you miss much? I was about to explain. Uh, for anyone that's just arriving, we we just came back. We just came back to where we started the game, basically. Back here to the All Mothers Embrace, back to the, the, the bunker that wouldn't accept us close to the start of the game. And it let us in this time. And it also told us that we were created to to fix the problem that that guy I had. So Gaia being the uh, the creator of of almost everything in this world, the big robot. I'm actually not sure how it all came to be, but like it's it's pretty fascinating. So wait, where did he want to meet us? Go to the bitter climb, three thousand that direction. Oh, this is the place. This is the place. I have been here. This is good. It makes pushing the main story, or at least, um... Just jumping from main story quest to main story quest pretty easy because we have been everywhere we've got everything uncovered we can just fast travel make sure you visit the merchants in every settlement i do i have was that one of the tips on the loading screen <laughs> for the night nice music and best gamer with the best real emotion i know oh anonymous Thank you so much. Dude! I don't know who that was. I don't know if you meant to tip anonymously or not. It doesn't matter. Listen. Thank you. I appreciate that so, so much, man. Damn! And that kind message? Nice music. Best gamer. Real emotion? You flatter me so. You absolutely flatter me. And you know what? I'll take it. I'll take your kindness, your kind words. Straight to the heart, man. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That means a lot to me. It really does. So wait, is, is Zidana explaining something for us? You missed Eloi having a bit of a mental breakdown after finding out she has no mother. Uh, a triggered childhood trauma, being taunted for not having a mother. Right, yes. So she was created in a test tube, but she was created for a, a reason. She's important. They said you were the best gamer, must be a new person. Ha, ah, that narrows it down, doesn't it? <laughs> true. Actually true, Taraxa. Actually true. No, but seriously, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, whoever it was. Uh, it's uh, You're far too kind. I, like, really. <laughs> God. <laughs> must be a new person. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted. Not corrupted. But they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? <laughs> Wait, what? I've been through here. How am I stuck? Do I just jump? Nah, man. Did I just fall? I just fell. That was on purpose. That was on purpose. I wanted to redo the climb. I wanted to redo the climb to cement my foothold more thoroughly. It's a really terrible deal for Aloy. She probably fantasized for many years to find her, one day find her mother who would embrace and love her. And yeah, now she finds out it's a damn test tube. Oh, if it was you, M82, then I appreciate it so, so much. Damn, thank you, man. Don't laugh at being... No, 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 no. Best gamer sounds legit. Sounds legit. Hup, hup. Oh, that is it. Dude, that looked unrealistic. Was it M M82 is basically hinting at it, but we don't know. We, like, it could be M82, and if so, thank you, M82. I know you were you were saying some, some nice things about the music earlier. That's cool. Wait, is this the way? No, it's up. Up, up. Yeah, it's guarded, all right. 
It is? I, I can't see anything. What? Dude, what kind of eyes does she have? Oh, there's something peeking around the corner over there. It's a stalker. Dude. Is this stuck on the side of the wall? Holy crap, it is. <laughs> this is hilarious. Put up a fight. Okay, we'll do it. Hey, made it to it was you? Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's cool. That gets, like, it's better because it allows me to actually thank the person that did it. So, now I know. Whether you want it to be anonymous or not, the jig is up, man. Now I know. Oh, I can use this gun on them, right? Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game right now. Okay. Okay. Let's just get the shock arrows out again. <laughs> I'm getting knocked around so, so much. My shock weapon is so much better than before. It takes just two arrows. Two arrows to, to paralyze these guys. Enough of this! Okay, we got this guy. Okay, we're going fisticuff style with this last guy. Whew. Okay, that's it. Intense fight over. That wasn't meant to be an intense fight, was it? Good God. Thank you once again, M82. I, I honestly appreciate it. I really, really do. Anonymous or not, it's a big deal. <laughs> Time to cancel the donation after watching this? No. What? I pulled through. I'm gonna loot. I'm gonna loot. I'm just going for the important stuff first. Kalong, what up? What up? Hey. It's good to see you. You asking what's up with me? Man. Nothing much. Having a good night. Also, having a great time in this game. Because we've been doing main story. And it's just really good having everything explained to you. Like, finally. We've been running around this world for so long. And now it's all starting to make sense. You know, now we at least finally know what's actually happening. It's good stuff. That is a sickly sound. Okay, we have to go... Well, I thought he said he's gonna be waiting for me here. Where is he? Hey, you gotta go read a book for school tomorrow? Dude, thanks for dropping in. I appreciate you just dropping in to say hi. That's actually really nice of you, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good luck with the book, man. I hope it's not boring. I know how it is with those prescription books. They sometimes give you the ones that they think are good, but they're not great. You know, like they, 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 they might be like technically or, or at least, uh, let's just say critically good books. But they might not be the most enjoyable for a regular person to read. I know. I had to read Tar Baby. 
Uh, thank you, man. Go well. Okay, how do I get up there again? I, I should know this. Where's the road? Oh, it's far on the other side. Okay. Yeah, so now we know that the derangement's a thing, but we don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. As if you've ever read a whole book. Dude, you know, it's funny. Like, it's funny that you say that, right? It's funny that you say that. Because I, I, I think, I, I feel that nowadays when I look at a book and I think to myself, holy crap, man, I've read things like this. Look at how many pages. Look how many words there are per page. Did I read that? It's like, that's the question, man. And the answer is yes. I read books. I actually read books. And, dude, I read a lot of books. I, I realized that when we had to pack our shelves uh, in, the, in the lounge over there. I actually have like a couple of shelves full of books that I read. I read... Listen, do yourself a favor with you, Silver. Google the R.A. Salvatore Drist series of books. So the Forgotten Realms books. Google how many books are in that series. I've read everything except the last three. Okay? All the others I read. Word for word. It's insane. I can't... And now, nowadays... I'm listening to audiobooks, and I think to myself, I just don't have the patience to sit down and read. I don't know what happened, man. I don't know. Maybe I lost some of my patience in my old age. Yeah, I don't know. I listen. I don't know who. I don't know who wrote Tar Baby. I don't know. I honestly can't remember. I, it's, it was a long time ago that I had to read that book. I did it for school. I aced it. I read the book. I uh, I aced the test. It was all good. Is that Tar Baby? It's about the girl that got sick because... Wait, no, that's the one you're reading. Okay. Because she was outside for a long time when it was raining. And uh, he comes... He came to her poor house with ten grandpas that tried to kill slash save her. And she died and the rest about uh, is about people carrying to her graveyard. Oh. Dude, that sounds actually pretty frightening. <laughs> Audiobooks are a bit slow for you. You have crazy reading speed. Really, Kretzel? I have crazy slow reading speed, so they're nice and fast for me. It was for English class, by the way. The books. Wow, that did no damage. Higher grade English. What, what is going on? Why do these birds not die? Wait, what is this? What kind of monster is this? What machine is this that attacks me so? Holy crap, man. What is that move? I've never seen that before. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Let's get. Whoa, God. Let's get the weapon off the back. Can I do that? Is there a weapon to get off the back? Doesn't look like it. No ammo. Damn, I'm level 48 already. Oh, I was about to, I was about to ask where this last one is, but I found him.
Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Tar Babies by Toni Morrison. Such a great American author. Okay. I had no idea. You think your reading speed's about two times what they do in audiobooks? That's a decent speed. I think my mother reads at that speed, and she reads a lot of books. Maybe, I don't know, maybe even a bit faster. Kolong, go well, man, go well. Good luck on the reading. Stateside, we read books written by Europeans, Asians, South Americans, slash Latin Americans, and Africans. Not just American authors in English class. Oh, yeah, listen, back when I was in school and I had to read that book, or back when I had to do that for school, uh, it, it was just, there wasn't a lot of that kind of work. Like, I, I had that book and I had one other one for Afrikaans class, and that's all I remember. Maybe there was some others, like, here and there, but, like, it wasn't a lot. I, I do agree that audiobooks are a different kind of enjoyment. I agree with that. I, I agree that it's different, and, you know, I've been reading these audiobooks, or listening to these, I always say reading, it's not really reading. I've been listening to these audiobooks that... Honestly, if you guys ever have the opportunity, you should give them a look. Uh, they're called... What are they called? God, I have to try and remember quickly. They, say, they, they keep saying a movie in your mind. Uh, they have like 20 voice actors slash actresses. They have music. They have all the sound effects of the fighting, the, the walking, the talking, the, the moving things around. The, not f it's not full cast. No, it's called... They, it's a specific brand, like a, a make of, 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 of them. But basically, yes, they have they have a full cast of, of people reading. Uh, there's a narrator, obviously, that does the narration, and um, it's just it's it's insanely well done. Like I've read I've listened to audiobooks where it's just one person reading the entire thing, and it can be insane because that one person can be insanely good at it. But um, yeah, it's just like with with the sound effects and the cool music and like all that stuff just makes it so much more exciting. It's like like. They say, a movie in your mind. It's actually really cool, man. They did well with it. It sounds lame, but it's true. There was something big up here, right? So these are the ruins of Gaia Prime. So we're actually going to be right at the Gaia core. We're going to see Gaia in person. So technically, we're going to be seeing our mom in person. But this is where we were last time. What do you want to bet now? There's going to be a little ladder or something we can climb up. What do you want to bet? What do you want to bet? Like, we came here last time. We couldn't explore it because we couldn't get anywhere. You bet one noodle? Man, I'll take that bet. I'll take that bet. I'm going to win a noodle today. Today is the day I win a noodle. Wait, is this the place? I swear this looks different. Oh, it's around this way. I was about to say. Oh man, the light in here. This is beautiful. I think it looked like this before. But this is beautiful. Guy's sacrifice. It did this. It cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg. Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. Oh, he's prepared the way. So you've been in here before. To a point. You'll see. This guy knows everything, man. He's been around for a while trying to do this. He's like the Morpheus to my Neo. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. That's the dude from the show Fringe. What, the guy talking? I just immediately heard the name, uh, well, heard the voice, and I knew it was Zavala from Destiny. Down. 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 She looks like she's wearing a cheap bicycle helmet from Walmart. Okay. I've not watched Fringe before. My parents watched Fringe. I know a little while ago they were watching it. Uh, I, I think that the guy, I think that the guy could backstab us at some point. I do think that there's that possibility. Here's the ladder. I knew it. I couldn't get up here last time. Nice. We're in. 
We're in. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. Oh, he lives here. Oh, he lived here. He's not here right now. There'll be enough time later for you to ransack this place. <laughs> for years, I tried to get through Calling this me out. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. Hmm. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. It even looks like him? What? Really? Cool. Yeah, okay, they probably did uh, motion capture with him as well. You're going to give me one noodle next time you see me in real life? That's a deal. It looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, Whoa. a great explosion destroyed this mountain. What? Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be That's heard so as far recent. as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here, except me. What if he's an android ran by Hades and he wants to get in to destroy the override? That would be genius. But we did see him IRL. He did save us IRL. We, we saw him in the flesh. Now, that doesn't mean he was real, but he could still be a, 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 an agent of Hades, as you're saying, an android. Yeah. Like, if at this point we had not seen him in the flesh yet, I would have definitely doubted him. Definitely. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but after seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less convenient hmm but do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia you know what the cauldrons are capable of how they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine by the same principle it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia true but that would take years and we're counting the time we have left by the hour true 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 I thought you might actually be here this time actually here why my presence is unnecessary you don't need my help to pass through this door he would just slow me down you were the one born to do this not me true true i'm going in it's time for me to head in yes when you find the master override you will gain the power to defeat hades everything depends on you Really? The voice actress for, for Aloy has done a lot of good stuff? I haven't actually researched the... What I will do when I'm done with the game is I'll go and have a look. Like, I'll go and have a look because I have some favorites. That's for sure. Why is he still standing here? So do I get to ransack the place now? Or does that still wait? I guess that waits. There's nothing to ransack here. He's been waiting 20 years for this. What up? What up? What up? Mind your footing. Mind your manners. Don't tell me what to do. I'll go down the elevator shaft in a moment. I just want to look up here first. Oh. Yes. Logging arrivals. Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. What? Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubate it, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You'd think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice. 
We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Uh -huh. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. <laughs> and in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for like three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, you will. You what? Thirty? Reckon you'll be the one turning the lights off at the end. Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. <laughs> Damn. That's rough. Wait, Aloy is Tiny Tina? Damn, really? I haven't seen The Wire, no. Dude, I don't watch- I don't watch a lot of TV, man. That was great. I want more voice notes like that. Like, a lot more like that. Okay. Ooh, well, I mean, that was good. Oh, crap. I mean, I wonder if I could have died here. I don't see... What the hell's happening here? I don't see another way to go. But let's just make sure. So... I think this is it. Like, I think I can go back up, but I don't think there's anything up here. That's where I came from, right? Yeah, this is it. All the way to the top. Can I go higher? Let's check. TV sucks anyways. Uh, n not all of it. Some of it does. Yeah, there's nothing at the top here. This is a dead end. Okay, we're going back down. Chloe from Life is Strange. Sasha from Attack on Titan. Tiny Tina. Sasha from Attack on Titan. Hey, okay. She was the best character in Attack on Titan. That's sick. How did I not notice that? Huh. Wait, Sasha's the crazy one, right? Like the the one with the glasses? Am I right? I can't remember. I can't. It's been a while since I've watched Attack on Titan. I, I mean, I know Life is Strange. I haven't played it, but I know it. That's cool. Wow. Glasses, brown ponytail. Yeah, that's it. Oh, dude, she's the best. Wow. Yeah, she's absolutely the best. So is it in one of these missions that I'm supposed to be finding the uh, the power cell? I'm pretty sure it's. It, this is like the second or third to last main mission. <coughs> oh god, sneeze. Jeez, that just came out of nowhere. It's not here, is it? I don't want to miss it. Let's go. That's why I'm looking everywhere. I just don't know. Oh my god. You see? You see? What is this crap? Oh my god. Here we go, here we go. Whoop! Boom! Oh, I'm insane. I'm actually insane. You guys, wow. Wow. Ah! <laughs> I knew it. This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. I knew it. I knew it. Someone told me. And I was like, yeah, man. I won't forget. And I almost forgot. Okay, we got the we got the ancient armor. That's our shit right there, man. We're good to go. What is this? No, let's keep going. Armor first? Nah, man, we're not gonna need it in here. No way. I mean, maybe we'll need it in here, but nah, man, we, we get it afterwards. This is not the last mission or anything like that. There's more coming after this. We'll get it after this. Okay. Do we repel down? This place is insane, man. How am I supposed to know where I'm going? Is that, Oh, I didn't... Did I nearly miss that? What is that? No, that ain't... That ain't nothing. Okay, let's go. This place is insane. We're just gonna go down. 
She's very confident. She doesn't even look. I like that about her. Guess that's my way across. What are we? Yeah. Okay. Don't tell me I have to collect the damn power cell again. What should put me at the start of this thing? I will die. No, no, there's the power cell. Okay. Easy game. No problem. That didn't count. I was testing to see if it was uh, feasible. Just testing to see if it was feasible. Hoop. What are we, Tomb Raider now? Guess that's my way across. Listen to this music. Woo! That's nice. That was a roller coaster of emotions. Sounds like Minecraft music. It's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well, D don't answer. <laughs> yeah, it's rather don't. Well, oh, glad that's over. It sounds like Minecraft music. Did I accidentally start the Minecraft music? Hello? No, no, this is the game. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. What do you mean? There's loot down here. This music is far too peaceful, man. I know something big's coming. They can't debate me like this. Oh, here we go, man. The cord. I just woke up. It's. I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of. Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank, open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang, a plague of robots. The last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, lottery winners, and life cults, all of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Kaya Prime, no different. Multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. None of them matter. Short term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp before the long held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet. A barren sphere. Just Gaia. And her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Damn. That's rough, man. Okay, so I'm sure there's voice recordings from all of them here. We're gonna hear them now. I just wanna open the door for Nero, I think. Oh, never mind. He's lying down again. Actually, maybe he does wanna go out. He's lying close to the door. No, he leans in here. 
The door's closed. Okay. Wait, is this where we found her note? Man, I'm gonna get lost here. This all looks the same. How the hell am I supposed to know where I've been and where I haven't been? Because I want to find the voice notes. They are fascinating to me. Have we been here? That's the elevator shaft. We have been here. Okay. Let's go. Just give me more voice notes. Here we go. Another one. Go, 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 go. Is it just Margo Shen everywhere? I oh, know. Charles Ronson. Evacuation happened so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Sadie Zygos I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone, and I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. <laughs> All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given the chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. <laughs> God, shame. Yeah, so no one was really happy about this whole living out their life in Elysium thing. I wonder how this place actually looked, though, like when it was in its prime. Obviously, now it's not looking that great, but... I wonder what they had here for the people. Yeah, so the new world's not gonna have any birds of paradise. Unless they somehow evolve from something else, who knows. Then again, it kind of sounded like there were birds of paradise in the jungles. Like, in the jungle areas that I went through, it was it was kind of nice. I definitely heard sounds of, of birds. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are huh? her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed. We scanned them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Damaged under repair. So this is gonna open up at the end of the game or what? I got a bunch of them here. Okay. Sure. I mean, there we go. I guess that's what we came for. Well, it's what Aloy came for. Wait, but I don't understand. This is where I, I was being led here. Like, there was nowhere else to go, was there? I'm confused. True, I actually kind of did come for the power cell, man. I just don't know where I'm meant to be going here. I'm actually kind of lost. Do I go back outside and follow the outside path? That might be it. So it's up here. Like, I, I feel like this is where I need to go, out here. Need to get up there.
Do we go higher? This is totally not it. Now we're just backtracking again. No, no, no. There's no way. 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 It's it's not gonna ask. There's stairs over there. Let's go there. It's not gonna ask me to backtrack all the way. That can't be. I didn't try this door, but. When in doubt, half out. That is exactly what I'm not gonna do. Here. Here? These are stairs? Oh, these are the stairs. Sure, of course. Don't mind me. I'm just a fool. Come on, man. Am I lost? Oh my god. There's a hole in the ram. There's a hole in the damn wall here. The hell? The colors made it that I couldn't see it. Shh. What is this? That's her face. Ooh, let's check it out, man. This is big. This is big. It's a shrine? I don't know if I'd call this a shrine. I'd go more as, like, I'd call it a command table. This is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a oh. seam of less than two millimeters. It's roses. But this one closed with a ten millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Wow. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Oh my god. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now, who has signed up for? Either we send someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Oh, my God. Gaia, seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Uh, Elizabeth, no. She did it well. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's oh, my close. God. Really? It's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what wow. she does. Wow. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh... See you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, alright? Liz. I'm okay with this. I wanna go home. Goodbye. Jeez, dude. Man, they even went as far as to animate him. Last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. That's insane. They even animated the guy turning away, like covering his face. It's this track? What? That was Aloy's theme, in case you were wondering. The music that was playing there, it's Aloy's theme. Hello, Liz. I know... I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the 
savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. What? No, you don't. What? That was a bitter message. Can't be the whole thing, right? Oh, God, what a rude boy. What a stupid message. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was... Dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. I'm glad you shut down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. Joburg. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobek. There's only one. I miss you. This fool's waiting for me. Ah, oh, I wanted to hear his. Look, Liz. You were a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Is that the last one? This guy. This guy. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. What did she think? She knew she couldn't have survived Aloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Stop acting like a machine. Oof. Oof. Listen, I'd actually like to know what she did when she was out there, because she must have had a good little while before the monsters caught up with her, so... Can you just for one moment... Stop calculating and let yourself feel. She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. Oh my god. This sounds like a logical response. No choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. <laughs> I'm sorry for your <laughs> loss. Whoa. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. No, tell me! God! Don't leave it at that. You... Maybe, where did she go? Where was home? Wait. God, now I need to strain my big brain here to try and think of where she lived before or what home could be for her. Uh, come on, big brain people in chat. Where did she go? Where was home? Maybe the earpiece we found was one she lost. Maybe she went, maybe the bunk, the first bunk, the bunker? No, but there was like a bunch, no, there were a bunch of people dead in there. Did she not go back to Apollo? No, that's with, no, Apollo is where we just were, where the kids were going to school. No, I don't think she went there. 
The first bunker had locked doors in it. Oh. No, to clone me? No, no, Gaia made me. There were two doors and I opened one of them. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um, uh, Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Margo, oh, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. I mean... Maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What? What can he do? What can he do? Famous last words. Gaia cloned Aloy 19 years ago. However old Aloy is, Elizabeth would have died over 900 years ago or something like that. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Was there maybe more back here or did I get it all? Sorry, I just want to know if I found all the voice recordings. There's one more door of that side. Let's just check what that is. That doesn't seem to be openable. Oh, I don't even... What? That's behind glass. Okay, never mind. We're, we're piecing out. Okay. What? Is that it? Dude, Ted records very short messages. That guy, he doesn't waste his breath on anything. This is crazy. This is a long one. Also a lot of lore, just like Another yesterday. section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored. You found the control room. Oh. On my way. <laughs> There's probably some big beastie here got in the way or something. I don't know, man. This is going. Continue. Continue. Dude, this Ted guy was such an idiot. He's the reason that the entire planet was die well, that the entire planet was in danger back then. Like he was one hundred percent the reason. And now and now, well, he's looking to do it again. Oh my god, what is this? I don't know if I should do this now, but I'm doing it. There's a light shine in here. It beckons me. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, lucky the messages all fell down this little pathway in order. It would have been a mess if they had gotten them in the wrong order. 
Here we go. What's this door on the left? Oh. Oh, God, this is all of them. The hell? Is that is that what a thousand years looks like? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. Oh, I wish I could identify them. <laughs> okay. Here we go. out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you. Oh no. I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This, this idiot. Isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see what this is about is um i said stop trying to access the goddamn system and what, what i'm trying to say is i can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us those innocents those blameless men and and and, and women we're gonna give them knowledge like it's a gift ted ted we've talked about this before Apollo has 3,000 plus fail-safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And oh, it's not dude. too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. That guy. He had multiple screws loose. That's insane. He murdered them all after purging all of human history. Dude, Ted, 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 Ted. Come on, man. He killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No. Holy crap, man. Not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we're living in. It's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Ah. God damn, man. God damn. Hey, Trudeau, what up? That's... So this guy, man... Like, he... It's insane. So he, he, he destroys the Earth one time, and then he decides to take matters into his own hands, which, like, after what happened, seems like a bad idea. And he does it again. Like, okay. Okay. I would have understood if he had done the the whole thing of, like, destroying the, the Apollo thing. But why did he have to go and kill all these people? Why did he do that? What, so they wouldn't come and kill him? I'm assuming that's the case. That's why, as Traxa was saying, he attended the meeting remotely. It's insane, dude. It's insane. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The master override. That's so 
Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. What? How? Do we have to leave the mountain now? Return to science workshop. Okay. Can I go in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Wow, this place. I always wonder how like the sticks and crap come up here. Like, how did that get here? How did all those supplies, like including the health potion, which by the way, is from the uh, the tribes people here. How did it get all the way up here? Can't believe it, man. Okay, we gotta go back. Someone's Find here. The, your death. the master override doesn't override gravity. He only cares about one thing. I'll do what I want, man. I'll fall to my death. If I so desire. Hoop. Oh, I was supposed to get this on the way out. I see. I see. Do I go back up now? It says it's up that way. What if you just hit stride with a bird? At the start of the game. That would have simplified things a little bit. But I wouldn't have had all the experience. I probably would have just died anyway. Yeah. Oh, no, I was going to say, maybe, like, this explosion rattled things around a bit and whatever, whatever. But, like, no, that's also not possible. Is this the way? Because that was all packed inside a chest quite neatly. No, this is not the way. God, I'm already lost, man. Is that the way? Or am I on the right side? I actually just, I have no idea, man. It's up that side, but how do I get up there again? Up here, I gotta go up here. This is not how it's done. But maybe I'll do it anyway. I'm a trailblazer. Almost. Oh, God! He actually did it! The madman, Lou Mountain goated all the way up. That's insane, man. This game. Haha. <laughs> I probably just skipped like six boss fights. <laughs> ah. Yes. I bet to you someone's here to gank us now. Or this is where silence sticks a needle in our neck, puts us to sleep, and, and, and like pisses off with the thing. This is it. This is where we get betrayed. It's coming. It's coming. He, sound, he seems like the kind of guy that would use a needle in the neck. Here we go. Oh, here he is. You're here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. I knew it. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest oh. of the story. Oh, wait. Go on. Some time ago, Never mind. I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy. Buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Such knowledge, you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Hmm. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. Oh, good. Phew. Yes. When I found him, <laughs> that could have gone either way, man. But was the spire, not Meridian, the spire. Now, why would that be? The spire was created by Gaia. Mm hmm. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's 
code breaking module. She's got good memory. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Mm. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end, an army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Damn. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the... Was he the first person to find it a focus then? So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before, the Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. Oh my god, he really did. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. Hmm. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You would have no idea. How does that help him? Also, how did this robot have all the knowledge? Why did Hades have all the knowledge? Did he steal from Apollo or did he just I guess I don't know. Like how did how did Hades have all the knowledge? Annaline, welcome back. You have missed a lot, yes, unfortunately. Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A happy Perfect coincidence. Opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. Oh, Helis! I forgot about Helis. Was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. I've heard enough. I can say that at any point. But Hades didn't care about Meridian, and neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides. I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades specifications. A thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. <laughs> the ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the uh, back. Nice. Secret access. Empowering me to monitor all activity and communication. Nice. What made you turn on Hades? 
certainly wasn't your conscience. Because he's in a meat sack. Troubled the first time I saw the eclipse rays in ancient. And he'll die. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the focus network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. You don't trust his stories, Adana? I still don't trust him. I still don't trust him. Oh? Hey! Dodger! Dodger, what's up? <laughs> And there they come. That's always so great to see. Dodger, thank you so much for the host in the raid. It's good to see you. We're in a bit of a moment here right now. But uh, I trust all is well. With you and Sam and the little one. Hey. Welcome, everyone. What what were you doing? I know you were playing that co-op game with uh, Jesse before. Let me just check. I'm doing a shout out. Oh, you're playing Celeste. Okay, there was a new DLC, right? I hope that was enjoyable. I truly appreciate the uh, the raid and the host. Thank you. Thank you. And once again, welcome everyone. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me to uh, keep up with everything, but I'll try my best. Cauliflowered, seasonal secret. Thanks for following. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's Daniels from The Wire. So I've been told, man. So I've been told. And yeah, Anlene, it's a lot of people. Dodger has such nice emotes. She's actually got a nice raid emote now. It's not just the dab in cats. So, in case anyone's wondering, we're busy playing Horizon Zero Dawn. We at a, a, a pretty, let's just say, critical point in the story right now. It's all coming to a, a, a massive climax. And... It's been amazing till this point. I'll, I'll put that out there. Well, there the dabbing cats are. They, <laughs> they're still around. They're still around. Okay. And, um... It's... Basically, the point now where everything's starting to be revealed. Which is awesome. It's great. But it's, it's a lot to take in. So there's a lot of concentration going towards trying to figure out what's happening here. As you can see in her eyes, those eyes are searching. You know, they're trying to learn. You still haven't finished the game, it's been a while. It's always so tough to get into a game again after you drop it for a while, huh? It's always so difficult. Shrinko, dude, thank you so much. Gifting five tier one subs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Murky G, John DeLos, Swissant, Abe, and Madajaj. Welcome to Luminati. That's a good recruitment run, Shrinko. Thank you, thank you. A Dabin Ferret? Nice, dude. Nice. Tungosaurus, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about dabbing in general, but you know what? If it comes from Dodger, that's okay. Thanks, Keller. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, man, the game has been insane so far. So we're going to see what happens now. We're going to see where the story takes us. And I'm just putting this out there one more time. If you guys like the look of this game, it's so worth picking up now because... This, at the moment, you can pick up the Game of the Year edition, which is with the DLC and everything, for like under $15. It's when it's on special on the PS Store. It's awesome. It's awesome. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say. Oh, this guy is so smug, I love it. 
laugh in his face when he says stuff like that. When he's like quoting the old world or when he's busy talking about his achievements. He's got the smuggest grin. Knoxford, what up? Hey, it's good to see you, man. And it, it is rough jumping back into a game you haven't played for a while, especially on the damn PlayStation, because I'm not a PlayStation gamer, so this controller feels a little awkward to me. But um, I'm also excited for the DLC. I keep seeing the promotional art for the DLC, and it looks... It looks really good. It looks really good. Eugensia, how did that just happen? Tangosaurus and you have the same emotes from Lime Malicious? That's fascinating, man. Kindred spirits. Okay, so is there nothing you won't do for knowledge? You've done what you could to make up for your mistakes. Let's say that, because he is actually trying right now, and I'm trying to be the good person here. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps, but basically the same. Hmm. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have whoa, a whoa, 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 whoa. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in. Exactly. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no okay. Wow. Silence. Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. Damn, why is he... I was merely... Oh, no. Trespassing. Oh, God. He can't do that. He's trying to be cool. The mysterious stranger departs. God, the bastard. I hate him, man. I hate that guy. I never trusted him. Is that the last we're going to see of him? Yeah, as I was saying, Scalor, like, at least the uh, the game's pretty cheap now, so if you ever wanted to jump back in, you could just repurchase it, but you'd have to start over, so. Hey, this is a guy. Uh, he has a skull. No, no, he's a, he's a robot. He's like a, well, a robot, a machine. I think we, we actually saw him, like, two nights ago when we, when we went to that base. The home base of the Eclipse, right? Hades was there. He was, like, one of those big uh, Matrix-style... Starcraft corruptor units with the weird tentacle things. You know, the big ones lying on the mountains everywhere. Boinkasaurus, what up? Wait, how are there so many people here with Saurus in their name? I love it. I call my daughter Lily Saurus all the time. That's great. Okay, let's check these voice notes out. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, Lucent Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you, what manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Say it! Say your ground, Karja in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The Whoa. buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk? The perch upon the alight. It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the mesa where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man. Chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will... Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, Shadow of Prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. <laughs> of our obedience, you can be certain. Awesome. Awesome. Feromores, Scoop Snacks, what up? Thanks for following the channel. Dinosaurs are cool, you're right, you're right. Is the future technological dark age? I mean, yes. <laughs> if, if, if things go this way for us, you can be damn sure that's going to happen. I mean, this was the, 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 the same old tale that they have told many times in movies and books and everywhere else, 
where man gets cocky, man uh, creates... Well, I guess that was the same story as Jurassic Park, right? <laughs> man creates dinosaur, dinosaur eats man. <laughs> oh, it's so perfect with all the with all the sauruses here. It's so perfect. Same old story. God, I love that story. <laughs> I traveled far to find you. I found oh, a transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Oh. Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sultan's reign. Divine Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful. But you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Flame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now oh, that's more like it. That must have taken so damn long. If that's how they started out. And he had to go through every single word, every single little thing from this new world. That's pretty crazy. That's actually... wow. Okay, another one. Another one. I like that he's revealing his secrets to us. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I would. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing. Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. Uh -huh. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Wow. Well. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Oh my god. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. Okay, so at least he wasn't lying to us, right? That's that's like the only plus that I'm seeing here. I don't trust him, but he does seem like he could potentially be trusted here. So this is his spear. Look, that's a pretty... Oh, craft lance. I was about to say that's looking pretty janky. Don't know if I like this. Although it does look more advanced than mine, maybe. Does it do more damage? And suddenly she's a tinkerer. There we go. Oh! Well, now it looks alright. It's glowing. Can I attack with it? Whoa, dude! Trophy earned. Recovered a powerful weapon. Yeah, this feels pretty powerful. Again. Yeah? Alright. Go to the Palace of the Sun. Tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with the 